So what makes a man think, I hope I never lose her? This one is amazing. I don't want to give her up. Well, number one is a war chest of positive experiences. So as all the things he does with you, all the positive experiences build up in his memory, it's kind of like they're in a chest. And as that chest grows and it has, as it has more things in it, more experiences as part of the boyfriend benefits, again, you can learn more about those in the guide, all these things build up over time and he has this huge album of positive things that he's done with you, positive experiences he's had, epic things that he can look back on and say, wow, that was amazing. The bigger this war chest is, the more advantage you have over other women because you just can't compare it. A man says, I've had all these experiences with her. I have this whole war chest of positive experiences. She is special. So if you want a man to really think, I hope I never lose her, look to build that war chest of positive experiences, use the boyfriend benefits, do things in all different ways and places, be varied, be contrast, have different sides of yourself and that whole set of things that you've done with him, it all leads to this idea that, wow, she is special. I really don't want to lose her. Number two, this is a huge one, opposite experiences to his past relationships, especially his past shitty relationships. Let's say he's been accused of cheating constantly in the past, especially if he didn't do it, and then you come along and you are trusting. That's a very contrasting experience and he's gonna really value that. Let's say he's been controlled in the past and then you come along and you not only appreciate, but value his autonomy. Wow, that is a very contrasting experience for a man. Let's say in the past that he's walked on eggshells in his relationship because he can't hurt his girlfriend's feelings or she emotionally projects that onto him if he does. Now he meets you and you go, hey, I want you to tell me the truth even if it hurts my feelings. I'm not made of porcelain. What a powerful, contrasting experience for a man. If he has experiences with you that are absolutely the opposite to his past relationship, and especially his past relationship traumas, then that is 100% gonna make him think, gee, this one is special, I really hope I don't lose her. Number three is excellent relations to the people that he cares about, particularly to his family and to his friends. When you make those good impressions, you set yourself apart from other women who haven't met his family and friends or didn't make a positive impression on his family and friends. A man is always asking himself, can I live with this? Should I choose her long term? And one of the biggest factors in making that decision is what sort of ambassador will she be for me? How is she going to affect the rest of my life? When you're making great connections with his family and with his friends, he's going to value that. He's going to see that as special and he's going to go, she's irreplaceable. I hope I never lose her. And number four, in a similar vein, but perhaps a little bit more superficial, a thing that makes a man think, I hope I never lose her, is when he sees you getting adoration, attraction, or even simple attention from others. You see, as a man is going along, he's also noticing how others respond to you. He's noticing, well, I think she's valuable. What do others think? It's a real attraction switch for a man to see that others, and especially other men, see you in high regard, see you as attractive, give you good responses, and maybe even are a little bit threatening if he drops the ball to potentially take you away. A big thing that makes a man think, gee, I hope I never lose her, is having the value that he sees reinforced by strangers and other people who aren't as connected to you. It validates his opinion of you, it validates the fact he's got an amazing woman, and it validates the fact you are very hard to replace. Ultimately, it definitely makes him think, I hope I never lose her. Number five is you challenge him through growth. So there's a unique growth that comes with being with you, being in a relationship. And if he is able to grow as a person thanks to you, then that makes you much more special and much more irreplaceable. We value things that we have to work for. If you win a car, you're never gonna treat that car quite as well as if you work really, really hard for a long period of time and save up enough money to earn that car. You're gonna treat the car with a lot more value even though the car was the same amount of money. It's the same in relationships. When, when we've had to work to build a relationship, we're going to value it. This doesn't mean playing games or it doesn't mean making up fake things for him to work on or pretending you're disinterested. What it really means is being honest and having the honest conversations when you need to about what is a deal breaker for you, what is a preference and what you want to need from the relationship. Inevitably, as you go along in a relationship, there's gonna be times where he doesn't please you. There's gonna be times where maybe you're worried you guys might not be compatible because of a certain value. There's gonna be times where you do have to think, are we right for each other? And difficult conversations have to happen. There could be conversations, for example, about are we having kids in the future? When are we getting married? When are we moving in together? All of these difficult conversations become relationship strengths because if the guy faces them and ultimately faces any fears he has of being in the relationship, he will grow as an individual. And it's thanks to you bringing these things up. It's thanks to the natural challenge that you bring by being in his life. 
So by challenging a man through your authenticity, through speaking up, you will ultimately grow him and he will have to make a decision about if he wants to you know, follow his impulses and just have casual relationships and make life really easy, or if he really wants to work to build something valuable with you. And if he makes the choice to build something valuable with you because you've spoken up about things, then he is going to value it because it's something he's had to put time, effort and attention into. And naturally as humans, we always value more highly the things that we've had to put time, effort and attention into. Ultimately, you challenging him through growth makes you unique, makes you special, makes you irreplaceable, and makes him think, I hope I never lose her. Number six is your loyalty through the tough times. When you are loyal, when you show you'll stick with him through the tough times, that is a real sign that you're valuable, that you don't just want him when he's successful, when he's at his best, you actually accept him and want him when he's at his worst. Now, I will say there is a fine line with this because I talk to too many of you who sort of take this idea, oh, I'm gonna prove what a great girlfriend I am through my loyalty, through sticking by him, and what ends up happening is you don't get any of your needs met. You either don't get a relationship or you end up accepting crumbs. Basically, you sell yourself short by trying to be a loyal girlfriend. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about self sacrificial loyalty where your needs aren't being met. I'm talking about a guy who is working to meet your needs, a guy who's working on the relationship with you, a guy who is committed to the relationship and showing up and doing the difficult stuff, but he's going through a rough patch in his life. He could be struggling with work, he could be struggling with an illness, he could be struggling a disease, but while he's going through those tough times, he is still showing up to the relationship even if it's difficult for him. Those are the guys to be loyal to. I'm not talking about the guys who are low effort and you're like, oh, he has so much trauma. I'll accept that we only talk once a month and I won't see anyone else. No, that's nice girl. That's accepting crumbs. That's trying to use your loyalty to be a good person while you sacrifice all your own needs. I'm talking specifically about the guys who are amazing boyfriends, but going through a rough patch in their own lives. If you do that with a great guy, he's absolutely gonna see you as special and unique because you were there for the down times and he's gonna really value that and say, hey, this is why I want her here for the good times. She's irreplaceable. And number seven is a safe emotional range. So one thing that makes you irreplaceable is if you know parts of him and hold dear, parts of him that he wouldn't usually share with anyone else. As the relationship goes on, you'll slowly have more vulnerable conversations. You guys will get more comfortable with each other. You'll reveal more of your secrets or skeletons in the closet or things that you don't think are so attractive about yourself. And ultimately those things that maybe you wouldn't put on Instagram are helpful to build the connection and bring you both closer together. By sharing these things, by having more vulnerability through them and by you being a safe place for him to share those things, you are now his secret keeper, basically. It's like in Harry Potter, you have those things that are very dear to him and you hold them closely and hold them in trust. That makes you irreplaceable. You being a safe place for those things makes a man think, gee, she, she has those parts of my heart. She knows me like no one else does. I really hope I never lose her. Post in the comments below, what are some things a man does that make you think, I hope I never lose him? I would love to hear it in the comments. What can a man do to make you think that? Hit the subscribe button with the little bell and don't forget the free download, Commitment Currencies is available. See you soon.